Friendship Village. Thanks for joining in for these encouraging words together. It's really good to have you with us today. This is our chance to spend a few moments together in the Word of God and to offer our hearts in prayer before the Lord. As we do, as we put our faith in Him, we can count on Him pouring out the grace we need to face our day with great joy, peace, and a sense of hope as we look to the future. It's good to have you here. Today's scripture verse comes to us from our associate chaplain, Mary Myrick, who works very hard over in our, our uh, assisted living and skilled nursing and rehab facility. And I appreciate all she does over there. The uh, verse that I'm about to read will come from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5. But before I read it, I just want to give a small analogy. You know how it is when you maybe toss a rock or a pebble into a pond. It can look still. Sometimes that water can even seem like glass, unbroken and just perfect. But if a rock drops into the middle of that, the ripple effects will go to every part of that pond, won't it? You'll just see that they, they go from one side to the other and maybe back again, depending on the force of what was dropped in there. There's no part of the water that remains undisturbed. Every part is affected. And my point with that today is often we do not have an accurate picture of the impact that we make with our words, with our actions, with our very lives. God, in his mercy and goodness, makes himself known in us, through us, in order to touch someone else and often ministers them in ways far beyond what we see in the moment. It's only in hindsight, maybe, that we look back and discover Wow, God has really touched some people. You know, when we do memorial services, I've done a good share of those over the years. We'll gather with family and friends of a dearly departed loved one, and we will recount and give thanks for the many impacts of, uh, of their life story. Often, I invite, if the family's willing, I invite people to maybe stand and share a memory and it is amazing the number of times that people will do that and maybe people that you do not expect will talk about the impact that someone had on them. Well, that's the point of Mary's scripture, what she sent to us today from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5. Paul is speaking to Timothy. Timothy is kind of like a son to him, not his literal son, but he's mentored him in the faith. He's helped him to be established in ministry. And Paul pours into Timothy like a loving father and uh, continually guides and directs and offers encouragement and support. And in 2 Timothy chapter 1, he gives Timothy a word of encouragement. Listen to what he says. He writes, I am reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice, and I am persuaded, now lives in you also. It's amazing how one generation impacts another. Mary's point in sending that, she always sends a little write-up, and we, we put that uh, on uh, as a separate slide here on Channel 900. We send it out with our delivery meals. We make it available just as a general word of encouragement. In her note, she talks about that long after we move from this earthly plane to the next, when we leave planet Earth to join our Heavenly Father in glory, to stand in His presence forevermore, um, she writes that long after we move to that eternal home, our lives, our lives here on earth really continue to speak. They speak through our children. They speak through our grandchildren, through former students, through friends and acquaintances, whoever's life that we touch. And often, um, as we just live for God and look to serve him, the ripple effects of that kind of living, living a life of love, a life of care, a life of faith, impacts people far beyond what we know. You know, you and I hopefully have many, many years yet left ahead of us. But regardless of whatever time yet remains, I want to be someone that makes the most of it. I believe with all my heart, God can work through anyone and really everyone as we promise and opt and devote ourselves to serving him. He works through us in ways far beyond what we see. Sincere faith is passed on heart to heart by the grace of God. Two thoughts as we close here in this brief moment. One, 
Who could use your prayers today? Who's watching? Who's paying attention to your example? Who is it that has their eyes on you? How can you lift them up? How can you pray for them? How can you make a difference? And then secondly, today let's pray that all that we say and all that we do would be pleasing and honorable to the Lord. He will use our words, our thoughts, our actions, our interactions, our relationships far beyond what we know or can see in the moment as we choose to serve him with a heart of gladness. Let's make that a matter of prayer today. Join me if you would. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to spend a few moments in your word and sharing together. And even as Paul commended Timothy for the faith that lived in his grandmother and in his mother and apparently was passed down to him, Lord, may you work through our lives to touch those around us in powerful and meaningful ways. I wonder if Lois and Eunice had any idea the kind of ministry or life that Timothy would have. And yet, through their faithful service, you shaped Timothy for your purposes. Lord, help us to be faithful to you in our service, to offer the fullness of our heart, the fullness of our actions, to give you glory and to make a positive difference. And may you use that to touch future generations yet to come, friends and family alike. Thank you for your presence with us in this moment. Thanks for being true to your word and working through every heart that calls on the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Ah, oh, doesn't it feel good just to spend a moment in prayer, reaching out to him? Let God work through your life to touch somebody else. The ripple effects of his presence in you are meant to go far beyond what we might otherwise expect or even hope for. It's amazing what God does through any one person whose heart is committed to love and serve him uh, with, all, with all our heart, soul, and strength. Thanks for joining us here today. Here at Friendship Village, we're doing our best to show you these videos three times a day. They're brand new at 4.30 here on Channel 900, Monday through Friday. They repeat again at 8 o'clock at night and then 8 o'clock the following morning. You can always see them, though, anytime, day or night, on YouTube. Simply type in Encouraging Words with Bert Campbell, and you'll see all of our videos there right now. Thanks for being with us today. God bless. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. We will see you next time.